Hello everybody. So today I wanted to do a video on how to configure your network if you have a Plex server and you have two routers and are not able to set one of the routers in bridge mode. Uh, basically what this means is you'll have your Plex server, uh, what we'll call an internal router, and then what we'll call the public router. So the router that your ISP gave you and then you're using some other custom router that you or aftermarket router that you bought um, and again if you cannot set them in bridge mode so I will try to leave my internal or private network addresses um, shown just so that way that makes this as simple as possible um, it doesn't really matter what the public addresses are because they'll be different for you um, first thing you want to do is uh, go to the Plex website, so you can even just enter Plex in the browser. It'll be the first uh, link that comes up in whatever search engine you're using. Uh, you'll then go to the account option in the, in the upper right hand corner and then just click on remote access. As you can see, mine is working now. Um, I'm going to show you what you need to do to get yours to work. So, uh, firstly, check the manually specify public port box and then just enter the default port of 32400 then click apply now um, now we need to identify the ad addresses for both our internal and public routers so first thing you can do for that is open an administrator command prompt if you don't know how to do that you can right click the start button in the bottom left corner and then click on the command prompt admin. If it says PowerShell, um, you can use PowerShell, but you could also just type command prompt in the search bar here and use that. So as you can see, I've entered a couple commands here. Um, the first is ipconfig space forward slash all. That shows the IPv4 address of my Plex server. And what you should do, if you haven't already, is set a static IP address for your Plex server. So to do that, you can enter Control Panel, click on Network and Internet, Network and Sharing, Change Adapter Settings, select the network adapter you're using on your Plex server. So for me, it's this Ethernet cable right here. Click Properties. Go into the Internet Protocol version 4, so IPv4 settings. Now what I've done is I've taken the preferred address, so the address that my router hands out to this computer uh, anytime it boots. I've set that as the IP address, so that's the same thing you can do. It should automatically populate the subnet mask. It's uh, If it doesn't, it's almost always going to be a 255, 255, 2550 address. So th this part, I don't believe it shows in here, so I'm going to explain this. The default gateway I actually got by logging into my router. So what you can do is, based off of the IP address, 192.168.16, or sorry, 0.175, we also see the default gateway down here is 192.168.0.1. You're going to enter that into your web browser and log in. Generally, the admin credentials are admin. And if you haven't changed the password, it's usually password. If it's not, check the back of your router. Sometimes the password is specified on a sticker that is on the modem or router or in the uh guide if it's a aftermarket router. Um, if not, you may have to contact support for your router vendor to get a hold of the default credentials. Um, I've changed mine, so I'm going to log in. And uh, should be like a, a home or a basic settings screen. Uh, that This shows the IP address of this router. So the second thing here is it also shows another default gateway. This is the default gateway of the public router, and we'll be going to that in a second. So just grab the IP address of your router and set that as the default gateway um, in the IPv4 settings. And you can leave the obtained DNS server address automatically. 
I'm using these uh, public DNS servers that uh, I had found some time ago, and they seem to be working great for me. So I'm just going to leave that as is. You can use them too if you want. Otherwise, just leave it as automatic. So our Plex server now has a statically assigned IP address. Uh, we are going to need to know that address in a second. So now that the Plex server has a static IP address, uh, we've set the port manually for Plex. Uh, we have the default gateway or the internal gateway for the Plex server, which is 192.168.0.1. First thing we will do is go to port forwarding. So for me on my router, it's under features port forwarding. And I already have a rule here that uh, allows the, the traffic. Basically, it's a chain so we have the public router, the private router, and then the Plex server. We need to point through the chain from the private router down to the Plex server. So you're going to edit or add a rule if you don't have a rule already, if, it, if, you, if you've been trying and maybe have a rule. Um, so you can name it whatever you want. I've named mine Plex, and the local IP address is the IP address of the Plex server. So again, that's shown right here. And that's the address that we just set in the network settings and the port of 32400. I'm going to leave it as always enabled and I'm not setting anything for the UDP port. I'm going to click apply and that's that. So once it's done, you should have something like this showing the local IP address of the Plex server, the TCP port, and that it's always enabled. The second thing will be to go to your public router, so the one from your ISP. And uh, you'll want to log in there as well. Again, for me, that was shown on the home screen, the default gateway being 192.168.1.1. Another thing you can do, as you can see down here, I've run a command called traceroute, and I've just used, I think this is Google DNS. Um, and we can see the two internal networks before we hit a public IP address. So um that would indicate right away that we have two private um internal network devices so the second one is this this other router that we need to configure or again it will show you somewhere in the internal routers settings so uh once we're on the public router go to port forwarding we'll click new uh or you could click, I'll just remove the one I have just to show you. Uh, if you don't have the IP address in a drop down list of some sort, I'm going to manually specify just because I don't want to show all the devices in that list. So we'll do 192.168.1.57. So we are pointing any traffic that comes from the outside to this first router to the second router for TCP UDP and 32400. So now any traffic coming in on this port should be redirected to this router and then from this router to the Plex server. I'm going to leave it as all IP addresses because it's probably going to be from whatever address you get um, from whatever device you're on when you're trying to access your Plex server. So just leave it as all IP addresses and again set the uh, Plex port number and click apply. Once you've done that you can come back to uh, the Plex page here, click apply. Uh, sometimes this happens so first thing we'll do is then click enable remote access. It should try to connect to the server. And one thing to watch for is um, I've noticed in the past when I was trying to get this working and I only set it up on the one router, my internal router, and not the public router. Um, it would connect for a second and then I'd leave the page thinking everything was working, but I'd check and it would disconnect a few seconds after. And just from testing, I noticed you could literally watch this page go from fully accessible to a few seconds later saying it can't be reached. Um, so if it stays connected for as long as it has here, you should also get a green check 
on the remote access um, tab in the left menu here. Um, I've noticed so far that this has been working and I was actually able to access my Plex server from off the network yesterday. So I hope this video was helpful. I tried to be quick and informative as, as much as possible. Uh, if you have any questions, leave them down below. And as always, thanks for watching.